Hi everyone, my name is Zishen. I'm a PhD student at CMU HCNR. Today, I'm happy to present our paper on Wikibench, Community-Driven Data Curation for AI Evaluation on Wikipedia. Today, AI tools are increasingly deployed in community contexts. For example, AI-based content moderation tools have been deployed in online communities such as Wikipedia and Reddit. AI-based decision-making tools have also been adopted by local governments to allocate public resources. However, data sets used to evaluate AI are typically created by developers and data annotators outside a given community. This can cause problems because the ground truth of data labels on tasks such as content moderation can be highly community-specific. As a consequence, evaluating AI systems using data sets created by community outsiders can lead to misleading conclusions about AI performance. For example, past research has shown that crowdsourced datasets systematically label innocuous phrases in African American English as toxic. If these crowdsourced datasets were used to evaluate content moderation tools in a community that use African American English, they will underestimate how often the tools incorrectly flag innocuous phrases. Therefore, recent work has argued that the research community should explore community-driven approach to AI data curation. For example, in a position paper, Joe and Gabriel argue that AI datasets should draw lessons from archive and library studies, where these community archives are often directly contributed and curated by the communities they are meant to represent instead of by community outsiders. However, realizing the vision of community-driven AI data curation is challenging. For example, even though a community may share broad norms and values, individual community members may disagree about how specific data points should be labeled. Current crowdsourced data sets tend to handle the disagreements among data annotators after data have already been labeled by resorting to the majority vote. However, in community contexts, it is crucial that community members have opportunities to understand each other's perspective and collectively navigate disagreements for consensus building. It is also critical to provide communities with the agency to shape higher level decisions around their curation beyond labeling individual data points. Finally, given that community members will generally have limited time and attention, it is important to support them in prioritizing their time and efforts. With these challenges in mind, in this paper we ask, how might we empower communities to curate evaluation data sets for AI that impacts them? To answer this question, we present Wikibench a system that enables communities to collaboratively curate AI data sets while navigating ambiguities and disagreements through discussion. As shown in this figure, Wikibench mainly supports three actions. It enables community members to select data points, label data with their individual judgments, and discuss to decide upon a consensus label. We designed and tested the Wikibench on Wikipedia, but we envision that its overall design will be useful across a broad range of community platforms. Here's a more detailed workflow of Wikibench, which supports the three main actions through three interfaces. The first interface is Wikibench plugin, which allows community members to select new data points during their regular activities on Wikipedia and label these data points within their workflow. Here's a screenshot of Wikibench plugin embedded on Wikipedia's diff pages, where Wikipedia editors are already reviewing edits. The plugin allows Wikipedia community members to label and edit, specify their confidence level, and add notes if they want to. This design embeds the data curation process into Wikipedia's existing workflow to reduce the duplication of efforts and help curate up-to-date data. If the sum of the labels differ from the existing label established through community consensus, the plugin will show the yellow message to encourage discussion. Otherwise, the green message will appear to minimize disruption. The second interface is Wikipedia's entity page which shows the labels of each edit and facility discussions and the labeling as needed. Here's a screenshot of Wikibench entity page for an edit. The left side shows the top half of an entity page, including an edit, its primary label established through community consensus, and the user's individual label. The right side shows the bottom half of an entity page, including a full set of individual labels from different community members and their notes. Similar to Wikipedia articles, the primary label is open to change by any member of the Wikipedia community, and each entity page has a corresponding talk page for deliberation. The third interface is Wikibench Company page, which allows community members to select data points already in the data sets for labeling and discussion or discuss the overall data curation process. Here is a screenshot of Wikibench Company page. The top section shows a simple visualization of the data curation process. The bottom section includes a table and buttons that help navigate the entire data sets 
and identify data points that may benefit from additional labels or discussion. For example, the build consensus button surfaces data points that have high disagreements across company members to promote discussion. In addition to the table, the company page serves as a data sheet that provides comprehensive information about the data curation campaign, including the data statement. And similar to Wikipedia articles, the company page can be edited by any Wikipedia community members and has an associated thought page for discussion. Back to this overview, we now have a better understanding of how Wikibench supports these three main actions. We conducted a field study to understand how Wikipedia community members use Wikibench, and we summarized our study results in three categories. First, we find that data sets created using Wikibench can effectively capture community consensus, disagreements, and collective uncertainty. Second, we demonstrate how Wikibench datasets can help understand areas of AI alignment and misalignment with community perspectives. Finally, we gain insights into the ways how Wikipedia community members collaborate using Wikibench. Here's an example of using Wikibench datasets for AI evaluation. We show that the datasets can help the community understand AI models alignment with the community perspective, such as comparing the ROC curve of two AI models using Wikipedia. According to our study participants, the data set will serve as a good benchmark for different tools or for whatever model that people come up with afterwards. Overall, this work demonstrates a community-driven approach to AI data curation and makes three major contributions, including the Wikibench system, funding from a field study, and suggestion for future research as described in the paper with more details. With that, I would like to wrap up the presentation. Please feel free to scan the QR code to read our paper. Thank you very much.